All right, let's really talk about it. Would it bother you if your partner was an OnlyFans model? Now, now, I don't mean to get the community up in shackles on everybody's different morals on relationships and shit again, but like seriously, I want I, I wonder what people think cuz I find it really interesting to me. Would it really would it actually bother you if your partner was an OnlyFans model? I just watched this video. Uh, I'll put it up on screen. And it sparked my interest because this video, well, for one, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it gives incel bait. It does bait in a lot of like Reddit type incels, but it is a good, uh, how would I describe this? It's kind of Black Mirror-esque in the way that this is kind of like a commentary on society today. I feel that every character in this video is a critique on a different person and different perspective and viewpoint. So what's the general consensus? People usually are not okay with dating OnlyFans model. Why is that? Some of the most common things that I've seen judging by the comments and overall just what I hear from my peers and everybody else who I've talked to about the subject, it's usually they, that people believe that sex and intimacy should be kept private. Uh, some people believe that their partner will eventually cheat. And another common talking point that I find that people go to is that they believe that the next step above this is they're going to go to prostitution. From there, they're worried about SEDs and et cetera and that kind of bullshit. Side note, I just want people to realize sex worker industry is way more professional than that. When it comes to STDs and STIs, they are on top of their games way more. They are way more on top of that than you probably are. So you don't have to worry about that when it comes to sex workers. And finally, the last talking point was that people will recognize them making the non-models life a living hell. But what are the perspectives in this video? What, what's this video showing up? So start of the show here, we have the aspiring OnlyFans model and she's heavy dead set on starting her career. She doesn't seem to really care how her partner feels about the whole situation. I think that trait of this character's personality is kind of like a reflection of the whole idea that it's her life, she can do what she wants, so why not let her do it? And she's taking that forefront, which is good, you know? It's your life, so you do what the fuck you want to do, right? But on the flip side, that's a complete, total lack of consideration for her partner. The next important character is her, the model's very paranoid boyfriend. You know, he finds out from his girlfriend that she's starting on OnlyFans, and he practically has a freak out about it. He comes off as rather controlling, but that doesn't seem to matter because he doesn't seem to have a say in the way things go anyways. The funniest part about it is that despite having heavy contempt and not really rocking with the whole idea of being an OnlyFans model, the guy stays with her and I think that's really funny. There's also the friend with the dreadlocks who I dubbed in my script the OnlyFans pirate. There isn't really much about this character for me to say Besides, he just shares the same viewpoints of like, oh, it would good, it would be a good idea to not date an OnlyFans model. But I put him down in my script because there's a line where he admits to pirating OnlyFans content. I'm not going to endorse piracy, right? But let's be honest, we've all pirated some form of content before, be it a movie or some TV show that's not in our region or anime, for example, right? And normally I find that form of piracy to be okay. You're not really stealing content from these creators' pockets. You're stealing from the studios that put these that put this content out. Where in contrast, when it comes to an OnlyFans model, the way OnlyFans is set up, it's more of a like freelance type of job. Meaning that if the model isn't part of some kind of agency, generally they control a hundred percent of what's going on in this career. So when you pirate from a model you are stealing money directly from their pocket to dumb this down think about it as if you were to steal from your local supermarket versus stealing from your local mom and pop shop supermarket is likely part of a large chain say it's costco or whatever but the mom and pop shop they have to grow their own produce or however to get their shit so for that reasoning i find that like pirating only fans content it's just a, a step above the rest of just rather scummy. And I also find that the people that do this are also the same people who say, hey, 
porn is free anyways. If porn is free anyways, why don't you just watch the free porn that you have access to? Why go a step above the rest and steal content that people are directly profiting off of as a career? The porn stars on Pornhub can afford to have their videos on Pornhub for free. They have ads, they have an ad system. It's not the same when you steal content from an OnlyFans creator. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. But that that little mini rant aside, right? Another important character in this video was the person who was the subject of the conversation earlier in the video, the boyfriend of the model, who the guy with the dreads admits he's pirating the OnlyFans of. I wish I gave them names. I'm regretting that, but carrying on. This might not really count as a character, but there's also in the end where you see in this guy's comment section of his, I'd say Instagram or whatever, uh, everybody making fun of the guy because, well, his girlfriend is a model. And they're all saying things like, uh, he must not know, uh, just seen your girlfriend's tits for like $5. All the, all the fucked up people who go out of their way to scrutinize people who date models. But that sums it up, right? Each character is a critique of a different perspective and viewpoint. But you're probably wondering, what's my opinion if I'm making this video? If you haven't figured it out by now, in my opinion, I don't really care. It would not bother me if my partner was an OnlyFans model. Now let me defend my case. Understandably, you might not want to date an OnlyFans model. That conflicts with most people's morals on intimacy, right? Most people believe that sex should be kept between them and their partner or partners. It's perfectly reasonable if your partner showing off to multitudes of people just turns you off. I'll be honest, I don't care. Why date a bad bitch if you don't want them to be showing themselves off? Why date a bad bitch if you can't handle it? That's the way I'm thinking. I think people would disagree to the thought of dating an OnlyFans model out of a common insecurity and the reason there's so much scrutiny is because people like to project this idea and it's kind of weird that people it's kind of weird that something that people just commonly disagree on has to become something so publicly shamed like you might disagree with the idea of it but on a level of things that like actually matter it's not that serious to me at the end of the day this is a debate that you should have with your partner not with thousands of people online like you need to be able to communicate with your partner. What are the lines that we can and cannot cross? When those two people in a relationship come to the agreement, okay, that okay, my that one of us or maybe even the two of us are going to start a OnlyFans. We're really gonna take it serious. We're gonna we're not going to do what our partner says we can't do out of respect for the relationship, and we're gonna do what's in our guidelines. And why is anybody who's not in that relationship so bothered about it? Let them do them. You know, people like to say that models might not have respect for their relationship when in reality, it actually takes a lot of respect between those two to be in that relationship. And I think that's something worth recognizing. So would I do it? I probably would. I probably would date an OnlyFans model. I can't seem to find anything that would bother me. In a perfect world, you should be able to be a model or a partner of the model without facing scrutiny. People like to impose their morals on others and project their insecurities, and that's just overall weird. But anyways, before I close this off, I just want to read the responses that you guys have sent me. I put this question on my story over on Instagram. Uh, check out my Instagram, by the way. And I asked, would it bother you to date an OnlyFans model? And here are you guys' responses. No, it takes secureness within yourself to be romantically involved with a sex worker. No because I like nut videos and I'm not finna knock bitches that wanna see it too. It kinda depends on the content, but if it's like nudity, then that's not my girl, that's everyone's. Nah, more bread. To be honest, I wouldn't. Shit, we can both make money together. Unless they are having actual sex or I see my partner isn't charging certain people, I don't care. I would be okay with it, but at the same time, I'd probably want to partake in it someday or way. I wouldn't really know how to react, I guess. I would still love them, but still feel the way. And yeah, well, there goes my little rant or think piece on dating an OnlyFans model. What do you think? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Yeah, hey, look, hey, I'm a bit fat like Verizon. I got long hair, look like Isaac. 
And I punch like a Mike Tyson. That was a lie. I'm throwing kicks to a nigga face. Got the wrong Mikey. Second guess if you really won't fight me. Come again when we fight real grimy. Put your drug we need to see ID.